In this example, we're given three different tables and we want to know, do these define functions or not? So when I'm thinking about these, what I want to do is I visualize this as though I'm going shopping. And each one of these inputs is going to be a different item number that we bring up to the front of the store. And each one of the outputs is going to be a price that they give us for this uh, item. Now, don't get thrown off if some of these turn out being negative. Um, just kind of visualize it as though, is this a, a legitimate store or is something fishy going on? So on this first table, item number two, they charge us $1. Item number five, they charge us $3. And item number eight, $6. So what's happening in this case is we've brought three distinct different items up to the front of the store, and they've charged us three different prices. This happens all the time when you go shopping. So nothing fishy going on here. Therefore, it's a function. <clears throat> For the second table, what's going on here is we have three different inputs. But this time, two of the items get charged the exact same amount, $5, let's say, in this case. Well, does that happen or is something fishy going on? Item number negative three gets charged $5. Item number four also gets charged $5. Well, does this happen or is something fishy going on? In this case, you want to think to yourself, well, like the dollar store example, if you brought two completely different items up to the front at, say, a dollar tree, and they get charged the exact same amount, nothing fishy is going on. That happens pretty regularly. But on this third example, this third table, what we have are two of the exact same items come up to the front of the store, but they charge us completely different prices, um, two different inputs, two of the same input, I should say, go with two different prices. So this is where you wanna be thinking to yourself, we don't have any coupons, nothing like that is going on. Something fishy is going on here. Therefore, that is not going to represent a function. So what you're looking for in these is you are trying to say it's going to be a function if you get no repeated input values associated with different output values. Now, technically, if item number five came up and it got charged the exact same amount over on the right-hand side for our outputs, it would still be a function. But I hope this helps you when you're looking at tables and trying to figure out is it a function or not a function? Good luck.